Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. Now, there's a few things that I want to try out in this episode. None of them are really new. They were things that I tried in a previous episode. But ever since I ended the last episode of Yandere Simulator, I was thinking about trying those things again because I need answers to my questions. And I also want to check out some things that are in this latest build. So here it goes. When Yanchan dumps liquid or weights off the roof and presses the Q key, the player will see a little picture-in-picture -picture camera view of the liquid weights falling and hitting the ground. Added another Japanese garden to the school, this one is nearby the outdoor cafeteria area. Made a tiny tweak to Academy High's exterior. I wonder if anyone will notice. And changed the occult club's daily routine. Now, instead of spending all day inside their club room, they walk around the school and attempt to research the seven mysteries of Academy High, a series of urban legends that are associated with the school. Currently, you can only see them research five of the seven mysteries. Can you guess what the other two are? But yeah, guys, those are the things that I want to check out in today's episode, as well as two other things that I'm going to mention later in this video. If you guys are cool with that, you down with that everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go okay so there are one two three four five occult club members instead of sitting down around in the chairs they're actually just thinking and contemplating what they're about to do let me follow this girl first wait a minute they're all going together okay so they all go as a team i thought that they were gonna split up but they're all going to this painting right here okay okay hands on chins i see you i see you what the hell is this i have no idea what the hell this is this is a mystery oh this must be like the old principal of the school or something because there's like a statue right here of Kocho Shuyona, that fuck boy. Jackass. So that must mean like she was somebody important to this school. Next spot they are going to is this mirror right here on the third floor. I got that big old brain though. Look at that big ass head. God but the damn. second mystery is that they are looking at this mirror. And yes, I am a bald headed hoe. What are you guys looking at? You guys looking at this? This basketball? I think they're looking at a basketball, right? They're looking at something. Is something supposed to be here? If not, it's definitely this basketball that looks like a butt crack right here down the middle. Fourth mystery is right here in front of the piano. Okay, so we have a portrait of some lady. We have a mirror. We have a basketball. And we have a piano. Fifth and final mystery is this body right over here. This was recently added into the game. I was kind of like confused as to why this was in here. But this is a nurse's office and these things are usually in here. But yeah, guys, this is the final mystery. Yandere Dev wants us to guess what the other two mysteries are. I think that the sixth mystery is is the third floor bathroom ghost and i think the seventh mystery is why osana isn't in the game yet i'm kidding i'm kidding come on it's just a joke all right guys enough checking out mysteries there is another garden here and these martial arts wang lords are all fighting over here this guy is trying to give him some of these british burgers but another thing that i want to try to figure out is yandere dev said he made a tiny tweak to academy high's exterior i wonder if anyone will notice and then he put that shit face eating grin right there that makes me want to find it even harder Harder. So we're gonna look around the exterior of the school and we're gonna figure it out You know, I'm starting to think that the color of these actually changed I want to go back to a previous build and see if I'm right. Okay. Okay. I am back in the February 15th build I think that the color is exactly the same. So that can't be it Is it the yellow around here? It's got to be the yellow around here, right? Because I could have sworn I haven't seen this mustard yellow wrapped around the building. It's lit! I was right, guys. It's the banana yellow wrapped around the building. One, two, three, four. Okay, the other thing that we can do is we can see a camera now when we drop something on somebody's head. And this time, we are going to choose a bully because I could have sworn that last time I said that I want to talk about, like, juicy gossip or social media. And they said that that was lame. And I was like, bitch, you lame because I could have sworn that you guys love that shit. So we are going to talk about juicy gossip because I think that's the one they said that was lame. Please meet me at the outdoor cafeteria at 7 30 a.m and i'll see you there you better not say it's lame all right here huh? we go she found the note what's this maybe i should meet there them. we go okay so they respond to social media and juicy gossip so we're gonna meet her on the roof and we're gonna see that fancy new camera when you drop weights on their heads i'm still wondering why the occult club was looking at that basketball like what is it about that basketball is there like some space jam shit in there i have a bucket of water and i have the weights what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pour the bucket of water first and if this can work, then maybe I can pour the gasoline on her and have the candle at the bottom. I'm going to try that later, but first we're going to do this. And there you go. The picture-in-picture -picture view. Really now this time we're going to carry this. And we are going to dump this. Okay, but that's what it looks like. You drop the weights and then you press Q really quick. Then you can see a view from like the bottom floor. And that's actually way better than just positioning the camera from all the way up top. Okay, so we got to position this candle just right. So I stand right there in the middle, right? So I just got to position it right about here. Okay, so this diamond right here. 
That should be perfect. Actually, another idea came into my head. What if we can actually douse the flames after we set her on fire? Okay, she stood right in front of the candle. So we are going to douse her. And then we got to put this on. There we go. Yeah. Okay, please catch on fire. What? Please catch on fire. This? It smells like What? Gasoline? Maybe once she moves. Okay, hold on. We got to wait for her to move. Once she moves, I think she'll catch on fire. Fight like what? Like no. Oh, come on. That doesn't work. Okay, so last time I put the candle right over here, that didn't work. They kind of run at like a small diagonal like this. So they can go this way and then go around and then go to the locker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it like right here. I think they're going to step right there and then they're going to catch on fire. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's pour the water on this guy. And then he what should run into that candle. This? It Wait, smells like what if I pour the water gasoline? right now? What's going to happen? Let me see. Nothing. Okay, so if I pour the water, nothing is going to happen. And he didn't even run into it. He kind of ran to the right. So I need to put the candle a little bit to his right. And then I think we can set him on fire. So I'm going to put the candle right over here. Okay, please work. Okay, so let's pour the gasoline. I what think he's going to make it this? there. Yeah, it he's going to run like a little bit to the right. Come gasoline? on, come on, come on. Please. Please. Work for me. Work for me, Senpapi. Work for me, Senpapi. Come on. I can't go yes! We did it! Okay, pour this and then turn on the camera. And we can see him burning a little bit. The water actually didn't do shit. But at least we can see him turn into barbecue chicken with the camera. So at least we know that works. Okay, guys. I'm going to try one more thing. I'm not going to say what it is because I want it to be a surprise. But hopefully I can set it up just right. So we're going to pour the thing. And then he's going to get knocked over here, right? So maybe I should put the candle right here. And let's see if that works. Okay, so we're going to pour the gas. And then we are going to drop what the weights on his this? forehead. And we're going to see if he gets like knocked into the fire. Gasoline? <laughs> did he? He didn't. The fire is right there, but he didn't get knocked into it. Okay, I put the candle right here. And god damn, that body is bent. That looks like the 29th letter of the alphabet. Okay, so what I got to do, I got to put it right between these two seats. Like right here. Okay, so here comes unsuspecting victim number one. We are going to pour the gasoline. And every time you guys see the camera lag whenever it comes up, I think it's just a little choppy right now, but he got doused what in the gasoline. Is this? Now we gonna drop the heavy like stuff. We're gonna drop the gasoline? big guns. <laughs> Boom! And he didn't go into the candle. Okay, now he's right here. Before, I swear to Buddha, he was all over this chair's butt cheeks like this. And now he's back here. Give me a freaking break, dude. Just to be on the safe side, we are going to put the candle right here. Because there's no way that they're going to be knocked like this far back. So right here, I think, is the sweet spot. So let's pour the gas. Yeah. There you go. Okay, what she's nice and doused. This? We're going to drop the heavyweights. Like and she got knocked into it, but nothing happened. Okay, so we can't light anybody on fire after they've been hit with the weights. I was just trying to test that out to see if it worked, but clearly it doesn't. Another thing that I want to try out that pissed me off in a previous episode is trying to drop the bucket on the teacher and then have her run into a candle while she's chasing me. That took me so many tries to do, and sometimes the liquid in the bucket just wouldn't drop on the teacher, but I think that that's been fixed now, so let's see if we can go back and try to do it in one try. Okay, so I remember that I put the bucket right here just so we could, like, pick it up and then set the trap right away. Now all we got to do is get the teacher and hopefully we can make this work one try. Okay. So we got crab lobster head coming up. We're going to knife that ass. Mm. Okay. Now we got to go. We got to be real quick about this. Stop right so pick now. this up. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up, please. Okay. And then set trap. Stupid. Oh my God. I set it the other way. That's on me. I think I got this this time because I have the doors facing the inside of the school. Now all we got to do is knife fool, life fool. How did you not see that? Okay. You saw it this time. Okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Don't mess this up. Pick it up right Stop away. Right set now. trap. And we just got to wait right here. And come on. Come on, baby. Run into the candle. What? Okay, I actually didn't see what no. happened because I turned last second when the teacher came out. But she didn't even look like she got doused in anything. All right, I think I got everything set up again this time. Ah, Let's you? get Great Value Harry Potter to come chase me. Come on, girl. You ain't going to get me. Right I'm fast as fuck, boy. Okay, set trap. Go right here. Right in front of the candle. 
and it didn't go on her. Okay, guys, so I tried this a few more times, and each time the gasoline came out, but each time I did it, none of it poured on the teacher, so the bucket glitch where the liquid wasn't coming out has been fixed, but now you can't douse the teachers anymore, too. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. Those were some things that I personally wanted to check out in this episode. If you guys wanna see more Yandere Simulator episodes in the future, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!